Hello all you wonderful vanilla peeps Welcome to another World of Warcraft vanilla guide My name is Mujex, also known as a cynical gamer And today we'll be talking about leatherworking Like I said in my skinning guide The leatherworking, the maker of pants Of leather pants Gay man's pants in general, I have tried to keep uh, as much as possible to the normal leather types, meaning light, medium, heavy, thick and rugged. This is because it's always easier to buy them on the auction house, whereas other ingredients are more difficult to obtain and therefore more expensive. I have uh, mostly kept to trainer taught recipes. The exceptions to this uh, are recipes gained through the leather working quests and the recipes for wicked leather bracers and wicked leather headbands which I bought from the auction house. You could always substitute wicked leather gauntlets uh, with uh, wicked leather bracers. So before we get into the actual recipes you're gonna be uh, crafting, uh, if you are gonna level uh, leather working uh, with skinning as you, as you level up your character, uh, here are the level ranges of the mobs and the respective leathers they will most likely drop. Alrighty then, so from 1 to 45 you'll be crafting light leather armor kits. So from 45 to 55 you'll be crafting hand stitched leather cloaks. From 55 to 100 you'll be crafting embossed leather gloves. From 100 to 123 you'll be crafting fine leather belts. From 123 to 137 you'll be crafting dark leather boots. From 137 to 155 you'll be crafting dark leather pants. Remember I was saying about those gay man's pants? <laughs> From 155 to 165 you'll be crafting hillman's leather gloves. From 165 to 180 you'll be crafting heavy armor kits. From 180 to 183 you'll be crafting hillman's leather gloves. From 183 to 191 you'll be crafting barbaric shoulders. From 191 to 196 you'll be crafting barbaric harnesses. From 196 to 206 you'll be crafting dusky bracers. From 206 to 220 you'll be crafting thick leather armor kits. From 220 to 225 you'll be crafting nightscape headbands. From 225 to 227 you'll be crafting turtle scale breastplates. So from 227 to 229 you'll be crafting two turtle scale gloves. From 229 to 230 you'll be crafting nightscape tunic. From 230 to 232 you'll be crafting nightscape headbands. For the next skill point you'll be crafting turtle scale bracers. From 233 to 235 you'll be crafting turtle scale helmets. From 235 to 237 you'll be crafting nightscape pants. From 237 to 239 nightscape boots. For the next skill point you'll be crafting a wild leather vest. And this one is for the tribal leather working quest. For the next skill point you'll be crafting a wild leather helmet. Again tribal leather working quest. From 241 to 250 you'll be crafting nightscape pants. From 250 to 265 you'll be crafting nightscape boots. From 265 to 285 you'll be crafting wicked leather bracers. And from 285 to 300 you'll be crafting wicked leather headbands. Now if you've noticed between 206 to all the way down to 241 uh, everything you craft is part of a leather working quest two of them uh, from the tribal leather working quest and I decided to include these um, these items into the guide itself because they do give you uh, a, a skill point so I thought why not include them in the guide now before we end this guide let's talk about an estimated number of materials you'll need to get from 1 to 300 and just like in the tailoring guide 
it's very simple really all you need is mostly just cloth so 369 light leather 586 medium leather 389 heavy leather 661 thick leather 340 rugged leather 8 cured heavy hides 5 iron buckles 112 turtle scales 4 wild vine and 2 cured thick hides in addition to all of that uh, for the leather working quests you'll need an extra 10 thick leather and an extra 7 wild vine so if you follow my guide you are now at 300 leather working congratulations now out of all of the leather working types i highly recommend you go with tribal leather working because of the highly coveted devil saw set which is pretty much pre-raid best in slot for rogues feral druids hunters maybe even enhancement shame anything anything melee the bonuses are excellent and uh, they sell for a decent amount of gold so yeah guys thank you for watching uh if you are considering level up uh, leveling up your leather working i really hope this guide guide has helped you if it did consider leaving a like it really helps the channel out and also subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon to receive notifications whenever i release a new guide and when i go live uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.